Good morning to one and all. Welcome to the third and final day in Universal Studios. And, which is cool, just to, I gotta show you guys something. I just saw something. Welcome to the first official opening day of Velocicoaster. Now, it's been open for like for the past month, but today is the official grand opening, and there's like a lot of people already here. I looked at the parking lot, and I'm thinking like there's barely anybody here. Just keeps going on and on and on. We're moving. Oh, we are moving. It's gonna be a long day, guys. Just keep, just hang in there with me, all right? Cool. So check out this line. This line is insane. Here we go. So it starts all the way up there. And then we go all the way down to, to the Universal Globe. And then they snake back around. So, so far not as bad as Hagrid's, but still lots of people. It just keeps going, it's like it's never ending. I mean, don't get me wrong, last time a ride opened, that was Hagrid's, and that was way, way out of islands. 10, 11, 12, and 13 hour waits, that was absolutely insane. But, well, we all suffer through it because of Velocicoaster, right guys? Thank you! Look who I found in line! Theme Park Express! Can you guys see him? Yeah, you guys can see him. <laughs> you guys ready for Velocicoaster? Absolutely, we've mm -hmm. been ready. I watched your video based on Velocicoaster and I wrote it on Tuesday. Absolutely insane. They're not kidding about that airtime. Oh yeah, it is absolutely insane. Hey, thank you so much. No problem, man. I'm in the park now. So far, I've seen Theme Park Express, and I didn't know it because I he had it. He didn't have his sunglasses on, but Rick Splix walked right past me, and he just went live too. I didn't recognize him without the glasses. Absolutely insane. I haven't seen Jackie yet. We'll find her later. I promise. She's got to be here somewhere. I know. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Jurassic Park. Even though today is based off of Jurassic World. And having Jurassic Park and Jurassic World next to each other doesn't make any sense canonically because they're both from two different eras. I don't know. It is a Velocicoaster morning, baby. Look at all the cameras. And to the Today Show is here as well, so that's cool. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Jurassic World. And Welcome to Jurassic World. we're going to go. I'm getting a lot of comments about my shirt. This guy is Adam the Wound. He was unfairly banned from Universal because, well, he did the video in 2012. He was exploring Nickelodeon Studios. Five years later, he goes to the opening of Jimmy Fallon. Banned for a lifetime. It wasn't his fault. He was, he was told that he was allowed to go into Nickelodeon Studios and film. Disney did the same thing, but they forgave him. So Universal, stop holding a grudge against him and unban him. Please. As of right now, I haven't seen much people here today, but the vlog is really bite. We're gonna, we're gonna keep on looking, and we won't give up. Woo! <laughs> 
that you might have to go back in time millions of years to experience. Of course, guest safety is our paramount concern. In the grooming stations, each specimen undergoes a complex, comprehensive examination after every running sample. Every aspect of the animal's physical condition, ophthalmological, dental, respiratory, and cardiovascular, is kept under close and constant monitoring. Our internationally recognized team of more than 40 specialized veterinarians, as well as our elite team of over 25 scientists spanning every aspect of our unique brand of engineering, is constantly focused on the health and well-being of the animals. We have painstakingly leveraged our existing and growing knowledge of avian and reptile biology, developing the foundations of this groundbreaking paleo veterinary science that was designed and developed right here in order to formulate a complex game plan for how to properly care for it. So, Dr. Ian Malcolm book. And now, you can take advantage of the opportunity of what's provided to see these raptors <laughs> lay out of the ride short animation and and now we get to the craziest part of this queue guys Prepare yourself. Look at this animatronic. It's so real. Here's another one over here. Hi, Blue. Or Charlie or Omega or whichever one you are. You gotta keep on moving. All right. This is the part where I leave you guys in the locker. I will see you guys in like 10, 20 minutes. I don't know how long, but. I'm going Velocicoaster and I will see you guys when I get out. See you guys. I just got off of Velocicoaster. Funny thing happened uh, before I got on. Um, there was a delay. They started like pulling down the lap bars with no one on them and they stacked up uh, all three or four of the cars in a line. And then it was about 10, 20 minutes before they let me go on because apparently they wanted to film like the ride with no buddy on it just the track itself so that was pretty cool and once i got out they were giving away churros for absolutely free because today's the opening they wanted to have like a little bonus for going through it so you know that's always nice uh universal i definitely feel like they love their fans and they take care of them uh i definitely think this went a lot faster than hagrid's I was in line only about an hour, an hour and a half, I would say, based on what time it is right now. Uh, I think, but the, the funny thing about Hagrid's is that it had so many problems when it uh, opened on June 13th, two years ago, 2019. And I think Velocicoaster went a lot more smoothly, mainly because it's been in technical rehearsal for so long I think any mechanical kinks that need to be worked out have been worked out so the ride uh, ran smoothly um, I don't know if you guys know but two days ago when I did my first vlog um, somebody threw ice uh, at Velocicoaster riders uh, near that barrel roll so there's a big like plexiglass wall there now and I was really really major bummed like why would you do that like it it only takes one person to ruin it for everybody else. And like, I just can't believe they would do it. Like, what were they thinking? Like, let's throw ice at Velocicoaster, it'll be fun. They, I'm pretty sure they got banned for a lifetime. So, you know, justice has been served, but I don't know what we're gonna do right now. Um, I'm very, very tired, even though it's like, you know, just morning and I just got off of Velocicoaster. I'm probably gonna uh, have a little something to drink, maybe a little snack and we'll walk around the park and see what we can do, all right? Let's go. So I'm over by, um, outside of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, and there's a talking fountain right here. I wanna go show it to you guys, okay? Hi. Hello, welcome to the Lost Continent. I am Karen Bob Rock. What's your name? 
Uh, I'm Colton. Colby? Yes. I like your cheese, dude. Thank you. You're welcome. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Virginia. Where in Virginia? Uh, about an hour away from D.C. So Washington, D.C.? Yeah, ba yeah. Basic, basically. Basically. Summer of Washington, D.C. Still Washington, D.C. Yeah. Are you stuck here all the time? Well, stuck is such a harsh word. I mean, I live here. I mean, okay, yeah, I guess. My sister lives up here, either. Do you want to say anything to the people watching? Tell them Kappa says hi and be nice to each other. Yep, yep. Very what wise you, what words. Do you do, what? What do you do? Uh, I'm a vlogger. You're a what? Yeah, I'm a vlogger. A vlogger? Yes. You mean like, like in the woods? No, no, I mean like people who take around the camera and show people stuff. Oh, because people are doing new stuff on their own, so you do it for them? Yes. Gotcha. So, so what stuff do you show them? Uh, right now I'm showing them around Universal. He's showing them to you. I mean, Me? Yeah. You're, you're the highlight. I'm a special, I'm just a mystic fountain. I just sit here. But, but like where you. else do you find a mystic fountain? I have not too many places. There's the Oracle of Delphi, I know that. I mean, my sister lives up, in, up, up there. You know, her name is Potomac River. <laughs> She's not so wise as I am. <sighs> That's funny. That's so where funny. do you live? Exactly. Yep. All right, thank you. So where do you live? Near Manassas. Manassas? Near Manassas. Well, like where? Centerville? Bristow. Bristow? Yeah. Wow, you're not too far. You're not, you're not, you're not too far from my... Uh, my cousin, you know my cousin, Old Rod? Yep, absolutely. There you go. Know. When you see her, you tell her cat about the pie. All right, I sure will. Thanks. Thank you. Nice seeing you. You Take too. Care. So that was really fun, talking to the fountain. And now we're in line for the Seuss trolley because I want to get a good shot of the entire Universal Islands of Adventure. It goes around the whole thing. And we're gonna we should get some pretty good views of Velocicoaster. So follow me. Hot chocolate ice cream with cherries on top. As you can see here in the heart of Seuss Landing is a carousel cell that's truly outstanding. And I see the trees, the chocolate trees. The bright colored tops of the truffula trees, mile after mile in the fresh blowing breeze. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. From there to here, from here to there, fantabulous things are everywhere. And just look at that, I'm sure it belongs to that black and white cat. And look out below! It's that new McGrew Zoo. Oh, what this zoo must be worth. It's the most wonderful zoo on the face of the earth. I like greens. They're known to love beaches. There's one down there. There he fishing. is. He's floating. He's wishing. He might catch a fish with a pinwheel-like tail. He might catch a fish who has fins like a sail. He might catch a fish with a checkerboard belly. Or even a fish made of... So now, we're out of Seuss Landing, and we're making our way down towards Spider-Man. The Superior Spider-Man ride way better than the one that opened up in California. I'm sorry, Disneyland fans, but it's true. Amazing Spider-Man is more fun. Web Slingers is good, but this one's way better. In line for Spider-Man right now. I'm in the single roller rider line, and I've been waiting to do this joke for a while. Rose, where we're going, we don't need Rose. Uh, Jameson, Roger, over. Is this thing on? Listen, Scoop. Crime reports are coming in from all over the city, and I'm starting to get worried. Did you see that? The spider signal. Was Spider-Man nearby? Trouble can't be far away. And you know what trouble means. Headlines! National coverage! So don't screw this up! I mean, uh, good luck. Man, you shouldn't be out here. Doc Ock on the loose, this could be the most dangerous night of my life, and yours. Be careful. 
Nice shades. Was that Spider-Man? That no good and red leotard. forever the 40 effects are great i don't know if you guys noticed but the first time the in the sewers where spider-man goes up against um the big water guy i'm sorry i'm not like a huge comic book fan i know his it's aqua uh no not aqua not aqua something it's i don't know the big water dude i know hobgoblin and i know that was um Venom and Dr. Octopus, but I don't know the water guy because uh, I haven't read all the comics yet, but we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. So I, I love that ride. If you want a good Spider-Man ride that doesn't require you to go like this all the time, uh, come to Orlando and go on Spider-Man a couple times. It's, it's a really good time. Definitely worth it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get some lunch. And then I'm going to go on Hulk Coaster and Dr. Doom Spearfall. And then that'll be basically everything in Marvel Superhero Island. And then, uh, I don't know what we're going to do after that. We'll just see the way the wind blows, so. Holy moly, look at the size of this thing. It's freaking huge. Jeez. Universal is courteous with their portions. 
so after I went uh, and had lunch, I went on the Hulk coaster. Didn't get any footage of it. I'm super sorry about that. I wanted to take a break, so we went back to the hotel. I took a nap because, you know, I need, my feet were hurting and it was so freaking hot. I just didn't want to go on without a break. I am back and I am rested up and I am ready to go and I am ready to show you guys more stuff. So let's go. So I think it's worth mentioning that I have never ever been on Revenge of the Mummy before. And mainly because when I last came here five years ago, we didn't have time for it. And the time before that, I was just too scared of it. So, I mean, from what I've seen, it's not that scary. So let's go give it a try, shall we? So funny thing about Revenge of the Mummy, um, when it first opened, Brendan Fraser and the entire cast of Revenge of the Mummy went on the ride. It's pretty staple for any type of movie ride where you have the cast go on the ride, but Velocicos are just kind of opened. You know, they did it for Hagrid's. They had uh, the Weasley brothers and Luna there, and Hagrid was also there and whatnot. But, oh God, it's getting dark. So, uh, yeah, I'll show you guys around the queue. Uh, Ooh, yeah, it was really dark. So, I mean, it was kind of weird that, like, when it first opened, they had the whole entire cast go, but Velocicoaster just kind of opened. I mean, I don't think that's very fair. I mean, at least give us the kids from Jurassic World or something. So, I just got off of Mummy. That was, oh, for the first time, I might add. That was okay. I mean, it's not better than Gringotts, but I'm... If I was that, if I was just walking around Universal and I saw it had a five minute line, I guess I might do it, but it definitely wouldn't be a priority because that honor would go to Gringotts or something else new, but still good right nonetheless. So something really cool that I wanted to show you guys is that this is the original, yep. That was perfect timing. I did not plan that. But this is the original Ghostbusters firehouse where the spectacular used to be. But when they shut down, they built Rip Ride Rocket, they decided. So it's officially like dinner time because that pizza I showed you guys earlier was just like a list tag. We're at the Leaky Cauldron. We were going to get fish and chips and a butter beer because I can never get enough of those. I've already had one, I'm, I'm going for my second. Let's go eat. And this is what I ordered. I ordered the fish and chips, which is just some fish and some french fries and uh, frozen butter beer. The best way to have it. Let's dig in. I am fueled, ready to go. And one thing that just happened that I'm very sad about, I just had my last sip of butter beer for probably who knows how long. But I'm gonna take it in and I'm gonna do everything I can to enjoy the last few moments I have at Universal. So let's go. I just wanted to take a minute and come out here by the lagoon, right across from Simpsons Ride, to say that this has been so much fun. Uh, I love Universal, I love coming here. I love Disney too. I think that, um, Disney has good stuff. Uh, the magic is always there. Uh, they have, uh, they're gonna have Tron. Uh, they have Test Track. They have Figment. They have Star Wars and the Rise of Resistance. They have Tower of Terror, Rock and Roller Coaster. But I've always felt more at home here ever since I went to Universal for the first time in 2011 when Jimmy Neutron's Nicktoon Blast was about to close. It was just a few weeks out from closing and I got to ride it. And the first reason that we ever came here was because I was getting in, super into Harry Potter in 2009 and we got a DVD of Deathly Hollows Part 1 and we watched it because we watched all the other ones on TV. And 
it had an advertisement for the Wizarding World of Harry Potter at Universal Studios. And I was like, Universal Studios? I thought they made movies. I didn't know they were a theme park. So obviously, uh, two years later, after Harry Potter Land opened, we went and it was amazing. Besides the fact that I got scared by Dementors at 11 years old. And I've been coming here ever since I went in 2011. I went in 2014 with my marching band. I went in 2016 with my family. And now 2021 with my mom. And I just want to say that I want to thank each and every one of you guys for watching so far. Uh, I hope you've had fun. I'm having fun. And the fun's just beginning because we still got a few things left to do. And tomorrow, don't forget, is the uh, theme park in Orlando I've never been to. And I'm pretty sure you might be able to figure it out. But we're going we're gonna to see a different kind of world. That's, that's your big hint. That's your big hint. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to Simpsons because it's only a 20 minute wait. And then we're going to hop on over on the Hogwarts train and then go to Islands of Adventure and see if we can get a second ride on Hagrid's. So change of plans. Simpsons was an hour wait. And I was like, there ain't no way I'm doing that. So we're going to go on the Hogwarts train and go back to Hagrid's. So, follow me. Today, I made a very difficult choice, but I think it was the right one. We were in line for, today I made a very difficult choice, but I think it was the right one. Today, uh, we were in line for Hagrid's and I really, I met this uh, friend on the train. And they, today I made a very hard decision. I'm going to Velocicoaster instead of Hagrid's. I, I was in line and I was like, I gotta choose one. It's either Hagrid's or Velocicoaster. I can't do both. I chose Velocicoaster mainly because it's a thrilling ride. It's what I came here to do. And I really wanted to get a night right in, if possible. So let's go. Okay. So funny thing happened after I filmed that. I went to Velocicoaster and my phone absolutely stopped working. And by stopped working, I mean I couldn't even unlock my phone. Like the touch screen was absolutely broken. So for three days for the rest of my vacation, uh, I did not have a phone to film on. Like I hinted, you guys, we went to SeaWorld and then I went on, let's see, uh, I went on Mako, I went on... Manta Ray, and I did Journey to Atlantis, and then I thought they had the penguin ride open, but it turned out just to be like, we were just standing in line to see the penguins, which was still pretty cool. It was super cold in there. And then, um, jeez, jeez, did I drop that? Jeez, that's my bad. So anyway, out of the blue, um, uh, I just, my friend says he can, oh, let me, yeah. Yeah, that's better. All right. So anyway, uh, my friend from DCP, who I was with that day, he was at SeaWorld. He's with the Disney College program. So he said, do you guys want to go to Disney? Because I it was super bored. I was super hot. We went back to the hotel. I packed up my stuff because he said we could stay at his place, his uh, DCP house. It was pretty nice, by the way. We went to Animal Kingdom. I went on... Flight of Passage and the Pandora River Journey for the first time, which was absolutely beautiful. Flight of Passage was awesome. And then we went to Epcot, and then we went on Soren, which was always nice. And then we did Test Track at night. And by then, it the park closed. It was like 10 o'clock at night. It was about like 4 o'clock when I left SeaWorld. So, I mean, for, you know, just uh, like four hours. I did four rides within four hours. So that's pretty impressive. So... Yeah, uh, I'm super sorry that, like, my phone broke, but I did not plan on that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the last three vlogs because um, I've got life stuff to do, and I don't know when I'm going to do another vlog again. 
but most likely it's probably going to be at Bush Gardens because they're opening up a new roller coaster called Pantheon, and it looks really interesting, so I really want to vlog about it. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more, and I will see you guys later. I'm not in there, but it's...